I do want to show you guys the physical comparison between the two phones. As you can see, the iPhone is obviously very much smaller than the Galaxy S3. Of course, the iPhone 5 is just a bit thinner. I'd say about a millimeter thinner than the Galaxy S3. Both are comfortable to use in their own ways. I mean, the iPhone 5 is very solid and it's thin. You can hold it in your hand very comfortably. Galaxy S3 takes some getting used to, but it too is very easy to use. Of course, cameras. This one is centered over here is on the left. There's a flash unit. On the bottom, here's a dock connector, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the Galaxy S3 is on the top while it was now moved on the iPhone to the bottom. Of course, on the left side, here are the volume buttons, and there's a rocker, which basically turns off all sound on your phone, and over here is the SIM card tray, while the power button on the Galaxy S3 is on the left. Besides the headphone jack, there's nothing else on top. Now, of course, the first thing you will notice picking up these phones is that the display on the Galaxy S3 is just monstrous. It's huge, 4.8 inches diagonally, whereas the iPhone 5 is 4 inches diagonally, and it just towers over the iPhone 5. The resolution is 720p, which is a full HD screen. While the iPhone 5 isn't quite there, the resolution is just a bit lower. You will notice that things are sharp, and that's because the pixels are slightly more concentrated on a smaller display, meaning things will look just a bit sharper. You guys will notice that the iPhone 5 has better color saturation than the Galaxy S3, and that's because Apple has improved the Retina display, it now features even better color saturation and supports more colors, and the LCD and digitizer are now one, so there's less glass separating you from that beautiful display. On the Galaxy S3, it does have a Super AMOLED display, which means you get amazing dark colors, so blacks will really look black, and the darker the image, the better it looks. Now, if you guys are looking for build quality, the iPhone wins hands down. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. It's made of aluminum, it's made of glass. There is no plastic on this phone whatsoever. Whatsoever. The Galaxy S3, however, is made entirely by plastic, and surprisingly, it even weighs heavier than the iPhone, which is aluminum and glass. It's 133 grams, while the iPhone 5 is 112, and it's just so light compared to the old iPhone. Compared to the S3, you can't even tell a noticeable difference. Now, using the Galaxy S3 one-handedly is slightly difficult. I mean, texting itself is kind of hard with just one hand. You do need to use two to do it comfortably. The iPhone 5 is advertised as one of the most comfortable phones you can use, as the display remains the same. It hasn't grown horizontally, it grew vertically meaning you still get the same amount of room to type in and of course the display is a lot thinner than the Galaxy S3 as you can see so it would be more comfortable to use. Now when it comes to hardware specs the Galaxy S3 looks the best on paper. The iPhone 5 features a 1 gigahertz dual core processor the A6 which is twice as fast as the old iPhone 4s and you can tell there is a very big difference I mean it's very fast. Now the Galaxy S3 has a 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor meaning in terms of raw power the Galaxy S3 beats the iPhone. It even features 2 gigabytes of RAM, while the iPhone 5 only has one. Using the phones normally though, under no heavy load, you'd be hard pressed to find a difference. They're very similar when it comes to speed. I mean, they both work perfectly. I can't find any problems with either of them. And I'm actually going to launch a few apps to just show you guys how these phones stack up to each other in terms of speed. With all apps removed from the multitasking bar, let's go ahead and launch the internet browser. And the iPhone 1 actually opened faster. Let's try that again in camera. Once again, the iPhone camera is open faster than the Galaxy S3. Let's go ahead and launch a couple web pages to see which load faster. Yes, these phones both are running on the same Wi-Fi network, so let's go ahead and go to Apple's official website at the same time. And wow, the iPhone 5 beat the Galaxy S3 by a few seconds. That is fast. Let's go ahead and load another page. And this time, let's try Samsung's official website, both at the same time. And the iPhone loads pictures already faster before the Samsung. As you can see, it loaded much faster. There's a huge difference in the internet browser between the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy S3. And that just shows you guys hardware specs aren't everything. The actual usability of the phone actually determines whether or not it's better. And I'm not saying which one is better, I'm just saying hardware is not everything. Now the Galaxy S3 dominates in battery life. It gets 11 hours over the 8 of the iPhone 5, meaning that's a 3 hour increase. And for the couple of weeks that I've had the Galaxy S3, the battery has been outstanding. I could easily go 2 days on it. And the iPhone 5 battery is still very good, just not as good as the Galaxy S3, especially under heavy usage. Now let's talk about what each phone can do that the other doesn't. Of course, both feature 4G LTE connectivity, but the Samsung Galaxy S3 has NFC, near field communication, which is very useful on the phone. I really don't know why Apple didn't include that in the iPhone 5. The S3 does simultaneous talk and data on Verizon where the iPhone doesn't. The battery on the S3 is removable and the storage is upgradable, which means you don't have to pay up front more for extra gigabytes on the S3. There's numerous software enhancements such as the Palm Touch, Smart Alert, Turnover to Mute, Shake to Update, and Tilt to Zoom that set the S3 far apart 
from the iPhone in terms of software. Now, the one part where the iPhone 5 excels is the fact that it has such amazing support. Apple does a really good job when rolling out updates as it updates all devices at the same time. For the Galaxy S3, each carrier has to decide which update to roll out. Jelly Bean is an amazing software. However, the S3 is still deprived of this better battery life, better speed, better everything enhancing software update just because the support is not as good as the iPhone. And there's apps in the Play Store that don't even support the S3 because of the wide ecosystem of Android phones that it does take a while to get to the Galaxy S3 and other new Android phones. So definitely the iPhone 5 has an advantage in terms of support over the Galaxy S3. And I did save my favorite for last. The cameras on both phones are great. I do have to say I like them both. However, for me, the iPhone 5 camera performs better in low light and the image stabilization is by far better than the Galaxy S3. I mean, you can really be shaking and the image stabilization is so good that you won't detect any of that in your video. And I will be putting up comparisons very soon in a separate video. I do want to go in depth in that, but in this video, for the sake of time, I will say that the low light and image stabilization on the iPhone 5 is better than the S3. And I have noticed that the Galaxy S3 colors in its video are a little bit more realistic than the iPhone 5. Both are great, however. Now, what it all comes down to is personal preference. Do you want the elegant and refined iPhone 5 or the powerful and huge Galaxy S3? It really is up to you. I just wanted to show you guys this video, a comparison between the two to give you guys a basic idea of what you're up against if you're in the market for a new phone. I do hope this video helped you decide, maybe give you a little insight which phone is a little more for you. If you could, please like and favorite. It does help me tremendously. If you have any questions or